Tonight, potential breakthroughs at two of the nation's premier research labs. At Harvard's Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, more evidence that recovering from COVID-19 may lead to immunity against reinfection. Researchers say nine rhesus monkeys that recovered from virus-induced pneumonia developed antibodies to the virus and had near-complete protection when they were re-exposed a month later. That could suggest immunity from a second infection. Our studies show theoretically that there is natural protective immunity to this virus. And it gives us optimism that these will likely be the case in humans. The Harvard team also tested a prototype DNA vaccine on the monkeys, which protected them from the virus. Meanwhile, at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, researchers believe they've discovered the Achilles heel of the virus. It's right there on top of that notorious red hook that we've all seen. What this means is that this is now an important target for development of much needed vaccines. And there's more encouraging news from the Emory discovery. Using blood plasma donations from people who've already recovered, researchers should be able to isolate the antibodies that block the virus, then inject those into people who are already sick. Carl Goldman donated blood after taking 29 days to recover from COVID-19. And they, they're speculating that because I spent so long with the virus, that I built up so many antibodies, it's off the charts. The question researchers are asking, if you've recovered from COVID, how long will you have antibodies that should provide protection? Will they still be there, let's say, in the fall or, or next, you know, next winter, if we get another wave of, uh, you know, the uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection? Will they still be around at that point and be able to provide protection? And we don't know that right now. We do not know that right now, no. If the antibodies do provide immunity, then people who have antibodies could have a sort of immunity passport, allowing them clearance to return to work and perhaps even travel. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.